Hi, everyone. My name is Paul Buffa, and I'm the head of product education at Observable. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can easily reuse D3 examples for your own analysis. Let's take a look at how it works. Here, we're at the D3 gallery page, and you can find a ton of different examples of D3 visualizations. There's ones for animation, for interaction. Why don't we find a simple example we can repurpose with a different data set? So I'm going to look for a line chart here. Here we go. This line chart example is using some sample data set on Apple stock prices over time. If I want to repurpose it with my own data set, I need to make a copy in my own workspace. I'll click on the fork to get started, select my workspace, and there we go. Now, to reuse this with my own data set, all I have to do is just swap out all the references to the Apple stock data with my new data set. So I'll open up the file attachments pane, drag in a new data set here. This is the data set from the MTA, the Metro Transit Authority in New York City, showing the daily ridership levels of the subways and buses in New York. And if I click on this button, it'll add that data set to my notebook. You can see the different rows and columns here, um, and I can maybe rename some of these to make them a little bit shorter. So I'll call this just subways, maybe rename this to lowercase d. And now again, all I have to do is just swap out all the references to the Apple data with my new MTA data. So I'll scroll up to the D3 code here. And here we see Apple referenced, we'll also call this subways. Here we go. And now when I rerun this, you can see I now have the chart showing me the daily subway ridership levels over time. I might need to change a few settings here to make it easier to read, like the margin on the left is cutting off some of the numbers, so I can bump that out a bit. I might need to change some of the labels, it's still showing the daily close, so if I scroll down and find that, here we go, we'll call this subway ridership level. I now have taken that D3 example and reused it for my own data set. So you can do this with all the D3 examples we walked through before, and there's a ton you can use, so it's pretty fun to get started with. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more examples of how to use Observable for D3 visualizations.